side, cutting baseline as Lyons, he misses on the reverse. Moore able to corral the pass, find Cabrera, missed the shot inside. Clark battling for it, able to spin out of a crowd. Lyons ahead of the floor, alley-oop try, he throws it down. Chris Lyons with authority. A nice execution on that fast break from Rowan. Slows it down. Find Ringle, nice pick and roll action at it blocked on the inside and Lyons rips it away. McPherson again, he's fouled. Just imagine being at the highest peak of your game. The crowd loves you, you're getting offers. And just like that, they could be taken away. I started playing basketball at four years old. My mom took me to the YMCA, and uh, that's where it all started. My junior year of high school is when I really started like actually taking basketball serious, which is good and bad. But it was that was when I really started to really play basketball. My high school basketball experience was crazy. Um, I played at Pensacola High School. Um, I didn't play much. I probably played a total of like 15 to 20 minutes my whole junior year, so it was pretty bad. Um, I didn't like the coach. He didn't like me. It was conflicts. He played favorites, um, so it was kind of weird. But that's what I mean. It was just a whole different experience. But I played AAU, um, 2017, 2016, and it helped out a lot with uh, just developing me as a player and uh, developing leadership. Last year, I was part of a team at RCGC, Rowan at Gloucester County. Um, did pretty good. We went 27 and four. Um, sadly, we didn't make the playoffs. Uh, we lost by one. It's a crazy game. Um, but this year, I decided not to play. Um, there was some technical difficulties with academics and new coaching staff, and it was just it just didn't feel right. And then on top of that, um, I broke my foot, so it just I just decided to take the year off. Um, but next year, I'll be back for sure. It's some weird bone in your toe, like, the, all right, so there's the big toe, and then right under the big bone is like two little bones that help your foot, you know, maneuver, and they said I broke those two bones. And I honestly, I thought it was like a bruise or something, and when they told me I broke it, I was just shocked, because I've never broken my foot before, so it was different, um, but turned out to be a process. Um, when he told me I broke my foot, he said probably about uh, six to seven weeks um, and it kind of took a toll on me because I really just wanted to get back and play and work out um, but I knew I had to you know stay humble and relax and just make sure that this process goes good so that way I can come back stronger um, but yeah it was like six to seven weeks for this next year I'm just gonna focus on taking care of my body uh, mentally and physically so a lot of physical therapy um, eating right, changing my habits, and just see where it all is gonna take me. And hopefully next year will be the best season I ever have. The goal for next year is I want to play for a higher level, but if that's not possible, um, I'm gonna either go to Kansas where I was originally supposed to go and just turn up. I'm gonna try to do my best and then hopefully get some offers. Um, during the summer before school though, I might, try out for some leagues and uh, see how that goes. Um, but yeah, just go to school, whatever school that may be, D1, D2, D3, and just do whatever I can to make it the best year I have. My backup plan is to be an athletic trainer. That's one of my majors I'm uh, going for in school. I wanna be a, a coach or a trainer and uh, help develop kids to be better, but not just as basketball players, but also to be uh, better young men. So that's, that's the next step for plan B.